Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Woo! 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 And welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be Spring Summer 2018 Week 2 Pickups. My apologies for not doing a preview video for you guys. You guys know I like to get out the preview so we can discuss the pieces. I could get your guys' feedback, yada, yada, yada. But the way that Jay is doing the list lately, it's extremely hard for me to get a full video edited and put out on Wednesday morning. Sometimes these lists aren't coming out until late Wednesday night, and uh, it's just a tough thing to do. So next week I will try to do that. But you know, luckily I always have the pickup video for you guys. I always have all the products to show you guys up close personal you guys can see what all these look like that's my cat sorry she's fucking demon kitty so if you see her like doo -doo -doo -doo, just ignore it she's fucking on straight crack right now so before we get into this video please go check out preem population on instagram if you guys are into supreme i'm assuming that you are because you're watching this video preem population is a sick big huge aftermarket family that we have on instagram we do a lot of cool shit on there you guys can win pieces week by week for ten dollars fifteen twenty dollars it's an extremely dope atmosphere participating or not in the things that go on there everybody is welcome to join live videos join conversation we have a dope ass time on that page so if you guys want to go check it out I would appreciate it I promise you guys it will not be a waste of your time so with that being said let's get into the video I'm gonna start at the top work my way down we'll just get into these pieces uno by uno the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is these hats that dropped there was a couple camps and a compact logo six panel that dropped so I'll get into the six panels first these were denim wash with suede bills these things are extremely sick they're $58 a little bit more retail but that's because of the material that they're made out of this one is labeled as white you got like a whitewash denim and then you got like this pinkish purplish suede bill right here this is an extremely dope hat it's very well put together it's very nice the clasp on the back is very very nice as well you got embroidered compact supreme logo all the way across the front and then here is the pink one this one was like one of the fan favorites I think you got like a pink wash denim and then a baby blue suede bill these hats are super clean if you wear six panels this is a must cop for sure there was a bolse hounds tooth oh no hounds tooth was last year my bad bolse camp hat so they had three of these a black one and then two like neon colored ones and here is one of them right here I'm not really sure how to explain this material. If you guys can see like with the light, you can almost see my hand going through this hat. So it's like woven material. You got like paint splatter going all the way through it. Then you got the neon pink box logo, $54, couple hats that dropped. The next thing we're gonna go over is the stacked long sleeve. Here is the pink camo. This was the hitter color for the stacked long sleeve, dude. The other colors I feel like did okay. People copped them for the personal. This pink camo goes super hard, dude. So it's long sleeve all the way down to the cuff. And then you guys got repeated Supreme all the way on this garment five times. This is screen printed. This is not embroidered. This is an $88 top. This pink camo is a hitter in my personal opinion. The blue camo not doing as well as the yellow camo. I'm not really a fan of the blue camo. I wish they did the warm up pants and other items in this pink camo. This it is hard for sure all the way repeat camo with the stacked logo on the front $88 definitely a piece to look after for sure next is a hoodie and uh, I have multiple of these to show you guys and this is the diagonal hooded sweatshirt uh, I didn't put out a pre I was gonna say in the preview video I recorded a preview video but I didn't put it out because I didn't have all the items whatever whatever anyways I knew that the attention to detail on these hoodies was gonna be crazy and I was extremely right dude there is cut and sewn all over this hoodie dude you got diagonal and just mismatched stripes going all the way through this thing and this thing is extremely sick if you get up close and personal with these letters these are all individually cut and sewn on here these are nice like satin letters going all the way diagonally across your chest and this is just a solid hoodie dude for 158 bucks you're getting cut and sewn you're getting like a bunch of graphic little just going through things and this is a dope hoodie this yellow or lime color did very well with the people like uh, on the online drop that's why I copped it in person we'll get into my favorite color of the hoodies right here and that is this blue one and red one right here this is like old school 76ers colorway this thing is straight straight fire in my opinion dude this hoodie is so sick probably one of the best hoodies that's dropping this season in my opinion you got red up here and then it's like blocked with blue and white and then you got red on the letters dude again all cut and sewn satin letters and then all the 
these diagonal lines going all the way through it. You guys can see these are all cut and sewn in here. This is an absolutely beautiful hoodie, dude. One of the best hoodies that dropped this week and this season, in my opinion. Lots of color blocking, lots of cut and sewn, lots of uh, attention to detail. Let's get into a jacket, the sideline script jacket. These things were sick, dude. Here's a white one right here. White was not my personal favorite, although white did very well with the people online. I believe the white one sold out the fastest. In store, the white one went fairly quick too. This one is a large and it was $198, dude. So let's take a closer look at this thing. I have not unfolded this or looked at this yet, so this is a first for me too. Known was gonna be the cut and sewn satin letters on the sleeve right here, and man, this thing is beautiful, dude. You got a full zip going all the way down, and then inside, you guys can see this is all quilted in here, so you got this baby blue inside to match the baby blue on the sleeve, and check that out, dude. All cut and sewn satin letters. Man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Again, the white one was not my personal favorite. It is extremely clean with the blue inside but honestly the best colorway in my opinion was this orange one right here dude I feel like these jackets are big bulky these are statement piece jackets anyway so I feel like why not go with the crazy color like orange or something this is obviously not a jacket that you're gonna be wearing every single day maybe you pull it out once a month or something like that my preference would be go with the orange and uh, do it big dude so you got black cut and sewn letters all on the sleeve right here this goes pretty much down to your wrist and and then it ends right up here by your armpit, dude. So you got full sleeve embroidery and then bam, dude, full zip, all orange. And then you got black quilted material on the inside, dude. This jacket is absolutely beautiful. This one is a large as well, $198. One thing I wanna point out is the sleeves on this jacket. You see like by your wrist right here, it stops at the orange and then you got like a little blocked black at the end of the sleeve to match the quilting on the inside, to match the letters on your sleeve. This is all around an extremely beautiful jacket, a very, very sick jacket in orange. It was my favorite color that dropped, man. It's spring, summer, so you don't get a lot of bulky, heavy jackets like you do in fall, winter. So, you know, when one drops, there's not many that are dropping throughout the season. So when it drops, you gotta hop on it, and that was a sick jacket for sure. Let's get into the next couple things, which are the baseball jerseys. I have a couple colors right here, and this was a fan favorite this week for sure, the corduroy baseball jersey. Jersey. This one is XL and it is purple, dude. So if you guys are still unfamiliar what corduroy is, you got like these lines going all the way through it. Uh, back in the day, corduroy pants were very, very popular. They're not so popular in pants anymore, but more in garments like this and hoodies and stuff like that, which is what you see on this baseball jersey. So the purple has black letters on the inside. These are all cut and sewn letters individually placed. You got full buttons going all the way down. Athletic tab at the bottom, by far. One of the best pieces this week too. That was the purple one in XL. And then I got a black one right here in large. So black, you got like more like teal letters on the inside. You guys can see right here. Same thing, full button all the way down. Black with teal letters. And then the best color in my opinion is this beautiful, beautiful green one right here. I don't know if you can call this a Gucci colorway, but you definitely have a Gucci green and a Gucci red inside here. Man, this one is a size medium. Fuck. Wish that it would have been a size large so I could have thrown it on, but damn, dude. Full button all the way down. Athletic tab blank on the back. No letters, no names. Just blasted supreme across the front, and this is a beautiful, beautiful jersey. One of the most hyped items that dropped this week for sure. All right, next thing we're gonna get into is the Wilson tennis balls. This was the only accessory to drop week two. A lot of people were after these. I feel like the demand was higher than the stock, which is always good good or higher than the supply, whatever you want to say. These were some sick accessories. This was the second time that Wilson and Supreme have collaborated to make tennis balls. The first ones were green and these ones are white. As you guys can see on the inside right here, you got like uh, some felt tennis balls and then you have printed Supreme box logos all over them. I'm not sure if this camera is focusing. It only wants to focus on my face, but you guys can see them right there. The top is sealed with a aluminum can thing, so I'm not going to pull these off. I got a couple of 
online that I will probably keep for myself. But you got one, two, three tennis balls inside this can. $16 retail. They're going anywhere from $60 and up, which is extremely good for a small accessory like that. These are definitely collectible pieces for people who collect accessories or even collect Supreme in general. Dope, small little accessory. And uh, it was the only accessory that dropped week two. If you guys want to see a video pertaining to these tennis balls, maybe I'll call up Serena and then we can have a tennis match or something. I'm thinking about doing a cool video with the tennis ball. If you guys want to see it, make sure you guys like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll post a crazy ass video of us playing with some balls. Some supreme tennis balls, that is. So to close out the video, I got two more pieces for you guys. One being the studded leather jacket, the other one being the Vans. First, I'm gonna get into the leather jacket and you guys will see uh, the beauty of this piece right here. So this piece, along with many others that Supreme previews, you know, I like them, people like them, but it's not until you get in the store or get the item in hand to where you really fall in love with the piece or just really appreciate the piece to the fullest. And that is the case with this leather jacket. So I was not able to get the good Gucci colorway one, the red, the green, and the white, but I did get the blue one, which is honestly just as good, if not better, in my personal opinion. So let's get into it, and you guys can see exactly what it looks like. So here it is right here. This is all lambskin leather. This jacket is very, very heavy. This is not like a light winter coat by any means. This thing is thick and heavy and extremely nice. So we got three different colors on this. You got like this off-white color that is the majority of the jacket. Then you got this baby blue color that's starts up by your shoulder, your collarbone area, and goes all the way down to your cuff. And then you got this navy blue that is color blocked throughout the jacket. You got it meeting the white right here. And then you got it underneath the baby blue. And then the collar is the navy color as well. This thing has a full zip on it all the way down. And then it is lined inside with like this satin material inside. This thing is extremely nice and extremely beautiful. You got the big puffy supreme nice jacket tag on the top right there. And then flip and dip and that is where it gets crazy dude so here is the studded all the way across the back this mimics the faux fur and a couple other jackets that they have dropped with this full elbow to elbow supreme branding if you look at these letters up close these things are crazy dude so you got a cut and sewn piece right here like this s is all individually cut and sewn on here and then this is like raised leather if you guys can see it's like a fat s on it and then you got these studs that go all the way through the letters s u is on one arm, P-R-E is on your back, and then M-E is on the other arm, dude. These letters are very nice and very intricate. This jacket has a lot of attention to detail. It has a lot of cut and sewn. It is just a beautiful jacket all in, dude. This thing was $698 with tax. It's like a $760, $770 jacket. For me personally, it doesn't make the cut. It's not gonna make it into my closet. It's just not my exact style, but I do appreciate appreciate this jacket and the work that was put into it and it is a very very nice jacket that was probably the biggest item of week two that was the lookbook cover photo uh and you guys know how those jackets always go i hope that the market can stay up it can stay at a solid price the last two pieces we'll get into is the van one being the skate high and one being the slip-ons these were the skull pile vans you guys know the box is always the same for every single van supreme supreme vans whatever nothing that crazy we'll open these up and take a look at them right here so here is the skate high now on the skate high you don't really have that all over vibe with it you have a lot of black on it a lot of suede on the toe box on the laces and then on the back right here just in this middle part is where you get that skull print and then it is divided by the van swoosh right there so I believe these are glow in the dark these are very sick shoes don't get me wrong I love these things I am not like a crazy crazy high top dude I prefer old schools or slip on but these are extremely sick high tops you got prints on both sides these things retailed for a hundred and ten dollars next is the slip-on same thing same box you got van slip-on these are size 8 and these are my favorite out of the two I think before they dropped it was literally 50 50 I saw some comparisons a lot of people were saying that they like the high tops a lot of people were saying that they like the slip-ons after they dropped I feel like the slip-ons did a little bit better than the high tops and uh, these are my personal favorites too so not so much suede or 
or black on these shoes. This is where you get like the all over print vibe, uh, which is my favorite or like, you know, I like that better than having black and suede on the shoes. These things are sick. I believe these glow in the dark as well. You got print all the way up the front, all along the sides, all along the back. There is really no other colors besides this print on this thing, dude. You got a black stripe. Inside, you got the Vans cushion. And then here is the uh, tag on the back of these Vans. You got the Vans off the wall logo right here. And then you got the Supreme trademark right under it. Let me see if this can focus. There you guys go. These ones were my favorite out of both of the two shoes. Don't get me wrong. They are both sick. I think that they are both extremely dope shoes. And uh, I definitely want to keep both of them. If I have to end up keeping one, I will probably keep the slip on. But either way, very legendary Vans collaboration for week two. I'm not sure. Maybe uh, spring, summer will bring us two Vans collaborations. If that's the case, I'm hoping for some dope other Vans. Maybe some illegal business van or something like that. But uh, anyway, man, that was the entire drop. Hope you guys got to see everything you wanted. Showed you the leather, the jerseys, the jackets, the shoes, the hats, the accessories, everything, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys got to see these items up close and in person and you guys can get, you know, a little idea of what to expect when your packages come. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. Please go check out Prem Population if you haven't already because we are running action on there as we speak. So hopefully tomorrow I can get maybe like a little tennis ball video out or something like that. Something to do with the accessory from this week. But regardless, I will see you guys on the next video. Appreciate and love you guys all. Sleepy, I'm out this bitch. Peace.